Hello guys welcome to my channel. Here's the cup cut tutorial. I'll show you how the dark footage or video that you've got on your phone or wherever you filmed it and I'm going to show you how to brighten it and lighten it correctly. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I've got this lady here in this footage I've deliberately selected very very dark almost too dark footage where you can just see her. She's doing her thing and she's in completely in the dark. And then I've added in some adjustments and I'll just move it to the start. Here so that you can see what it looks like. And then now I've relit this scene using just cap cut to do this. So how did I do that? Let's go through it step by step. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this and delete it. Okay, so again, we've got our footage. We're starting from scratch. Okay, first step. Here we go right to the first screen and you're going to want to go. You know how you see the edit. You want to go to the right side. Here and you want to click on the adjust option. The most important one of course as you've probably guessed is brightness. But when you jack up the brightness, all the way it's brighter but do you see how it's put in a color cast so we've got a very very cool and very blue tint to the film or to the footage that we don't necessarily want in most cases, unless you're filming a horror film. Maybe then you can keep it, and so we're going to go ahead and make a couple of other extra changes contrast down a bit. Because that gets rid of a little bit of the blue, same with the saturation. You can adjust it BU down quite a bit. Because again we're trying to nullify the blue. The exposure usually will go up a little bit, because that allows you to be brighter footage and that's what we're going for a brighter look. So again we're just going through this step by step. The other one you want to do is HSL which stands to hue saturation and lightness. In particular you'll probably want to adjust. In this case the blue so I've clicked on this darker blue and then see here I can adjust it up and down depending on what you want the hue, not a huge factor but again I'm going to pull the saturation down a little bit. And I'm going to increase the luminance, just a little bit that meaning, making a little bit brighter. Luma is basically brightness so we've gone ahead and completely changed, the look of the shot gear let's go through. One more thing I'm going to show the temp, the temperature of the shot this is basically like a bluish. look as a cool temperature and an orangish look is like, is a brighter temperature so if I push this up, or if I push this down obviously, in most cases we want to move this up, we want the temperature go down, so I'm going to go ahead and there adjust it to that point. Now you'll see here, now if we look at the original shot I'll go back here this is the original Sean, and this is the adjusted shot, this is a lot brighter, we see a lot more of her. It's not perfect if you want to do great color correction you can use a tool like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve. There's a lot of really really ones but this is show you do it and now if I wanted to go in and make some adjustments so I can just to click on this. And then just start making adjustments, again I've already made some, or I'll show you another really cool trick. You can click on it and watch this hit copy. And it applies a second layer, now this is way too bright, it's blown out I get that, but you can go into the second layer and then you can start making adjustments like you can. You know we can decrease the opacity, we can reduce all sorts of things so that is generally how you get dark footage, put it into CapCut make it brighter in just a few minutes there. Thank you for watching guys, but please don't forget to like, subscribe my channel and click the notification bell. Bye bye.